hello friends and welcome to another video at healer at home today's video is a guide on how i freeze bell peppers so i have a glut of bell peppers and unlike cabbage lettuce or celery bell peppers freeze very well and they maintain their flavor and freezing them is a great way to eliminate food waste and to also enhance meal prep while some vegetables need to be blanched before you freeze them, bell peppers can be frozen raw and they do not require any blanching prior to freezing. So step one is to wash. In order to prep the bell peppers for the freezer, the most important step is to make sure that they are thoroughly washed. I like to run them under a cold tap for a while and use my hands to make sure that there isn't anything stuck in the grows. And then another thing that I like to do is to use apple cider vinegar, which I just let them sit in for a little bit and that will get rid of um, any microbial stuff I like to think. The apple cider vinegar that I'm using is one that we make ourselves from our apple tree harvest. Bell peppers come in many different colors, including red, green, yellow, and orange. And while all the peppers have a slightly sweet taste, there is a difference in flavor between the red and the green peppers. The red peppers are actually just the green peppers that have been allowed to ripen on the vine for a longer period of time. Whereas the green ones, they've just been picked before they can ripen. And you'll notice that the green peppers tend to have a thinner flesh than their red pepper counterparts. A fully ripened pepper, the red pepper, has got loads of vitamin C. And eating one full raw red pepper will give you the equivalent of 169% of the recommended daily intake of vitamin C. So they are powerhouses in that regard. But it's important to note that it's only when they are eaten raw that you get the full benefit of the vitamin C. After washing the peppers, I dry them as much as is possible using tea towels or paper towels. And then the next step is to remove the stem and the seeds. And also remove the pithy stuff that's in the middle and you can either choose to cut or slice them depending on how you plan to use the bell peppers in the future my case i prefer to slice them into strips so when they freeze they retain their flavor but they won't retain their crispy texture so they'll be great for use in stews and things like that after the peppers are cut i put them on a flat tray that I've lined with baking parchment so that they don't stick to the bottom of the tray and they come off very easily. I spread them out evenly so that they freeze individually and I will pop them into the freezer for about an hour and this prep method is known as tray freezing and it makes the food easier to remove from containers or bags when it comes time to thaw. So I'll do this in batches until all of them are done and once they are done I will transfer them to freezer safe storage uh, bags and remove as much air as possible before I put them into the freezer. And generally they can last up to about eight months before you really begin to lose the quality of the taste. So that's it lovelies. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you found this useful. This is how I freeze my bell peppers. And until I see you next time, I wish you blue skies, health, and happiness. Bye.